a model and a TV presenter, and of course, she has the power of a unicorn. Please welcome Noah Kirel from Israel. Hi, shalom. Shalom, hello. How are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm great. Now that I have you here on the show, I have to admit that I'm a huge fan of yours. Oh, thank you so much. Appreciate and I have that. met you in person in Limassol the previous week. Right, right. Your birth name is Noya, but a rabbi changed it and altered it to Noah, which means motion. Is that right? It's right, you're right. And, and I think that the rabbi uh, thought that you are about to become a dancer. He said it, yeah, and he said um, that I'm going to sing and to dance. Um, so he, you right. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you about the Eurovision Song Contest right now, because even Taylor Swift said that your performance was really magical. Yes, we just got back from uh, the Eurovision um, and it was amazing. Yeah, I, I thought so. And I know that you and Taylor Swift have met on the VMAs, am I right? Yes, we did. Did you exchange any things? There? Yeah, you, not too much because you have like only like one minute on the carpet, so we don't have too much time to, you know, to talk. Um, but I just said that I love her and appreciate her. Um, and she said thank you and that I'm really nice. Why don't you try to have a collaboration with her? Because I know that you have signed with Atlantic Records. Yes, um, I don't know, maybe in the future. I really love Taylor. Um, you know, I had only like one minute to talk to her, so um, you can't really do uh, too much in one minute, but maybe in the future, hopefully we'll see. Yeah, hopefully, because I know that you are really powerful, especially when you sing, and even Greek songs, like Pestikitas. Pestikitas, hey. yes. Um, yeah, my songs, I believe I tried to uh, do really powerful songs with um, a message behind them. So thank you for seeing that. Are you going to collaborate with Andrew Lambrou? <laughs> I love Andrew. He's so talented and so kind and sweet um, as a person as well. Uh, we had a really good connection. So wait and see maybe in the future. Ah, uh, now that's what I'm talking about because I heard something that you're about to have a great collaboration. You are about to become a great duo. Maybe in the future, you know, I can't say uh, everything. I can't tell you everything, but um, I really love surprises. So just wait and see. Okay, we're about to wait. And hopefully <laughs> that the video clip is going to be here in Cyprus so I can see you again. Yes, why not? I love Cyprus. Um, so maybe we can shoot the video over there. I would love that. Good evening, Poland. Good evening. Hello. Here. It's announced that 12 points from the Polish national jury go to Israel. Now, I would like to ask you about the 12 points that uh, Poland uh, gave to Israel. And you, you made a statement for the 12 uh, points that you received from Poland, and you said that it's a great achievement because uh, uh, the Poland is a place where 220 members of your father's family was perished. Yeah, so um, first of all, I have to say that I love Poland. It's really a love story between me and Poland. Um, they send me so much love uh, during Eurovision, and I'm sending them back love, obviously. Um, I shot my videos in Poland. I shot Unicorn in Poland as well. 
uh, with the Poland team production that I really, really love. So, you know, sometimes you said things and it's get out of context. So that's what happened in this case. But um, I just said that it happened on the land of Poland and not that there, it was their fault or something, not at all. Uh, but it's okay. Sometimes you're saying, um, you're saying certain things and people taking it out of context and that's okay. I'm here to explain. Yes, I, and I know that the Polish Deputy Foreign Minister invited you, invited you to Poland in order to uh, explain about this statement. Yes, of course, and I'm going to visit there. Like I said, I'm shooting my videos over there, so hopefully I'm going to be there very, very soon. And I'm going to meet him and also to explain to him what I said as well. And we're going to have a great meeting. I, I have to admit that I have watched the Shen Olam project that you and your father went in Poland and it's yeah. yes and specifically to Auschwitz where Anna uh, and Hannah your grandmother uh, was uh, buried there because you brought candles there in order to make a kind of a funeral for your grandmother Anna <laughs> Hannah Patia Kowaldman, Kirel, Veida Judith, Batuven Kirel. Um, you know, um, it's really it means a lot to me um, to come there and to see what happened there. Um, but also it's given me power to keep on going and work on my career and work on my songs and to talk about like the happy side of it. Even your father told you that you look like your grandmother. That's Have right. you seen yeah. any pictures of her? I saw like one picture. She was really, really young, so I don't have many pictures of her, but um, you know, just to keep on um, doing what I'm doing and to keep my legacy, keep on going. So it's an amazing opportunity. And I think you are doing a great job. You know, the Kirill family is really proud of you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Now, tell me about the performance that you did in the Miss Universe in 2021 about Bad Little Thing. Yeah, it was so much fun doing that, um, to perform in front of a lot of people all over the world. It was in Israel, so I had so much fun uh, to do that. Why don't you want to become a contestant in a beauty pageant? Because you are really beautiful. We, all the oh. Europe says up about your beauty. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, it could be interesting, but you know, I'm a singer, so I'm, I'm going to focus on that side. <laughs> so your goal is to become a global star and to and to perform with Beyonce because I know she's your role model. Yes, it's right. You did your research. You know everything. So yeah, I love Beyonce. Uh, she's a really powerful and strong woman. Uh, I love her message. I love her confidence. Um, I love everything about her. So. She's my role model, but you know, to become a global star, you need to think about what makes me different and what makes me special and to bring that uh, to the music in the global way. So I'm going to work really hard for that. Are you going anytime soon to America? <laughs> yes, actually, I'm going on, on June really, really soon for like 10 days to keep on working on my career in the U.S. Are you going to stay there for a month or are you going to come back? Just for 10 days and then come back to Israel because it's summer and I have a lot of shows here in the summer. Can I ask you about your personal life? Because I have seen you are with Tomer. And I know that uh, you met him in, in the video clip of Bad Little Thing, or no? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, tell me a bit about it, because I have Google and I didn't find anything about your relationship. 
<laughs> really? Um, I don't know how, but yeah. So I met him when we shot the video for Bell Little Thing. Um, and what I can say, the rest is history. We're together for um, one and a half year already. And yeah, I think he... it's it, since October 2021. You know everything, really. Wow. I know everything <laughs> because I told you I'm a huge fan. <laughs> Thank you. But so, uh, tell me something that I don't know. That you don't know. It's hard because I feel like everybody knows everything um, about me. If they're just checking um, on Google. But um, I don't know, something that you don't know. We love to cook together. Um, we love to chill together. He's really supportive um, and loving. And it's important to have that. You know what? I have seen an interview and you told that you have never dated anyone. Yes, because I started my career when I was really, really young and I 14. never went on a date. I never met someone on a date. Your father is strict with your relationships. My mom and my dad as well, both of them. They're very strict. No, I'm just joking. Um, I remember when I was a little girl, my father used to tell me, when you'll be... When you'll be bigger and you'll have a boyfriend, I'm going to break your door from the room. You're not going to have a door. Um, but it's not really happened. He's not that strict. It just, he looks really tough, but he's really gentle. So yeah. it's never really happened. <laughs> you were nervous when you first met uh, your boyfriend to your father. Yes. I believe everyone is nervous for the first time when their, you know, boyfriend or girlfriend meet their uh, parents. It's always like a stressful moment, but um, they love to man. <laughs> Don't you know, you are really mature. Do you go to a psychologist? Um, yes, um, I believe it's important, you know, for everyone and specifically when you're um, in this career where um, it's a lot of things that going on and you start at really, really young age and you're struggling with a lot. Um, so I believe it's important, yeah. Have you lost any childhood moments because you wanted to go on the top? Maybe I did, but um, I'm really passionate about what I'm doing and I really love what I'm doing. This is everything to me, to, you know, to, to make people happy, to bring my message through music, to create, to write, to perform. Um, so I, I couldn't really stop that. It just, it was so powerful inside me. Um, so I, I, maybe I did, you know, lose some certain little things, but I also like earned earn myself, earn my confidence, um, and earn so many things. You are so a person others. that you want to make a family and then stop your career, or you want to go along with the family and the career? I believe to come along and to, to do it together. And now you can see, like, like we talked about Beyonce, she's working really, really hard, but still she has her own family, which is important as well. And we're really like, family person so it's really important for me to you know to create my own family uh, but also i believe you can keep on working with um family with yeah. you behind <laughs>